This is a 2 terabyte USB drive I found on eBay. And I'm going to go through and buy this. Now if you're unfamiliar, we actually previously bought a micro SD card that advertises a terabyte. And you guys had a lot of feedback for that. So in this video, we're going to test all the things that this advertises. And for $4, or almost 3 US dollars, this will be very interesting. So just going over the things I want to check out. First off, it says it's waterproof. We're going to test that. I, I want to test that. Um, it also says that it is <laughs> 2 terabytes. <laughs> um, it's also going to be something I want to check out. Now, I, I, I get this one just because of the fact that it actually looks kind of cool. Like, you know, I think I think the packaging alone is probably going to be less, like, $3. I, I'd, I'd pay $3 just for this lovely little um, USB drive, even if it was, like, 8 gigabytes. But in reality, there's no way this is going to be 2 terabytes. So let's go through and just buy it. So it's finally here. It's in a wonderful bag of blurred out, obviously, information. Uh, but for the most part, we've got a little bag. It's pretty, I actually say it's adequate packaging. Um, so I think, what was this, $3, $6, $5? Um, it's been a while. It's actually been maybe about a, about a month or two. I'm interested to see what this flash drive looks like. If it looks like at least what we got, I think if it has some decent quality metal in it, it might be worth like the $2 or something that we paid for it. This is totally how you're supposed to open packages, guys. Expert right here, guys. This is totally unboxing channel. Oh. Wow. I'm pretty impressed here, guys. We actually get packaging. So a couple things I want to point out. Um, just when I was opening this, uh, I just want to read some of the claims that are on the back here. It feels good, which with out of space, it has a typo. I don't know if you guys can see it's like roughly there. It's 4K, guys. You guys should be able up to up the uh, quality to see it. From uh, feels good without a space, smooth, wear resisting, flame retard, retardant, retardant. I can't say anything, so I apologize there. Um, non discoloring and no yellow turning. What's more, it's no harm for children's skin. 24K gold plating copper contact, 24K gold plating plug. The best designated transmitting rate to date is 480 megabytes per second. Dang, that's pretty impressive. So there's a lot of BS on this. I'm interested to see what the, so I'm going to also open this up because I'm interested to see how much of this is actual gold plating. So for an eBay scam, this is actually higher quality than I was expecting. This is actually like a solid USB drive. Now it's time to put this in a computer and I'm actually going to use the computer back here so I don't get any viruses on my main system. Okay, um, I have here the flash drive and a very wanky uh, setup here. But for the most part, you guys should have no issue seeing what's going on. So here's our little flash drive. Here's the video cable because how I've just got things wired up. Flash drive. Let's, let's plug this sucker in. I'll have to actually go make sure the software is installed too. But let's just see how many terabytes we got. I think this is plugged in correctly. Holy fish! We actually got a whole terabyte worth. Actually, two terabytes, sorry. And not only that, we get only about 1.9 terabytes, which as many people pointed out in the last video, just because we don't have two terabytes, there's a lot of reasons why, and mostly just translation errors with point of what I was trying to say in the last video, we lost a little bit of the storage from what's advertised to what we actually get, which is a better sign than the one terabyte flash, or I don't know, flash drive that, not flash drive, micro SD card that literally just translated over into exactly one terabyte or so. Let's see if we can run some tests on this disc to see if it reaches the advertised 512 megabytes per second. See if it, not megabytes, yeah, megabytes. Whatever, what was this advertised at 480? 480 megabytes per second. 
and the two terabytes is actually what we can use. So you guys have suggested some stuff from the last video um, and we're gonna go through and actually use some of the software you guys suggested to see how really good this is. Well, the first thing that I did was I went through and we ran Crystal Disk Mark, which is a piece of software that you use to benchmark the speeds in which the disk runs. Now obviously with this wonderful advertised speed of 480 megabytes per second, I just had to know for sure whether or not this was utter BS, complete BS, or quite interesting. And the story doesn't end here sadly because there's more. Oh, of course there's more of these kind of videos. So not only do we run the test, we get 20 megabytes per second, which later on in this video makes literally no sense and you'll see why. But you've got 20 megabytes per second on a good day and an advertised 480 gig or megabytes per second and you have 10 megabytes per second is what it actually does. Okay, that's that's fine, okay. So let's see how much storage we have to work with because obviously if we paid our $3 on this USB drive, how much physical storage are we gonna get? And so in order to do this, I did H2 Test W, which is a piece of software you guys recommended from the micro SD video. And you know, we, we, we boot that up and we start running the tests. And at the time, I wasn't too familiar with the software. I've gotten a little bit better now. But I didn't realize what it was saying. No, it, it, was, it was just plain out saying, yeah, um, the disk has no physical storage. And we say it again, nada. Which also doesn't make sense because later on in this video, it, it makes even less sense. So at least it has no physical storage. Let me rephrase that. It has no physical storage that you can access. It has physical storage. It's maybe a malicious physical storage, but it has physical storage. So, <laughs> not only do we have no physical storage that we access, it's taking 20 megabytes per second to write to nothing. Nada. It is writing to thin air, which is interesting, but hey, let's see what happens a little bit farther when you guys watch this train wreck. <laughs> Hey guys, I just came back from my classes today. It's been actually about a day since I've been working on this project. And I went to go check my files to start up the test again because the test took longer than I expected. And on my files from the last, since when I built this, so maybe two weeks, on here, are gone. Like just out of thin air, gone. Um, yeah, everything is pretty much gone except the shortcuts to the software. I don't know if they do they even work. Do the shortcuts even work? Yeah, okay, they still work. But my pictures, music, videos, like all my files are just gone. So I'll go re-download this real quick. Throw the drive out the window. And um, yeah. Yeah, now when you download a file, it just disappears out of the downloads folder. Yep. So, download using Edge. History. Do I even have history in here? Yep. Let's download it. Try to open it and watch it disappear, guys. I don't even know what level of malware this is. This is gonna be pretty. Glad I actually didn't plug this into anything important. Okay. Oh, see, it just disappeared. It gets instantly deleted. Temp state. Microsoft Edge. Downloads. Downloads. Poof. So to answer this question, how large is the storage device? Well, we could we could say a couple things. We could say it's probably a guess. But since anything you put this USB drive on pretty much just instantly gets uh, all the files disappear. I've actually done this a couple times. So it's been a bit and I actually got all the parts to this USB drive. So it looks like how this was done is we have the shell, the metal shell, which is actually surprisingly high quality, some type of decent metal. You have the USB device itself, which has no data modules on it whatsoever. This is literally just a freaking plain PCB that looks like it has the four contacts and two little contacts on the back. And somewhere on this, they have stored the amount of data, the size on here, which is supposedly two terabytes. 
which in reality, there's not a single bit of data modules on here. So that really means there's none. Um, also a little plastic bit, probably like it's really cheap actually. Feels like, um, I don't know, some disposable piece you take out of like your uh, floss or whatever before you um, use it. That's what it feels like. But yeah, so basically just sat in there and use that. And this is full of whatever malware, which it makes me wonder too how they got the the malware on there or how, how they got to delete the files as soon as you downloaded them uh, pretty and delete all the files that were on there without having any really main storage on here, which, which must mean it must be a pretty simple file. But I digress. That's the USB drive. And I'm going to take this apart into pieces because someone's going to come along and be an idiot and actually plug this into something important. Um, anyway, that's why you guys watch these videos, right? Watch me do stupid stuff and get viruses on my computer because you guys like watching that. Like the video because this one has literal malware in the USB drive for $2. Quite interesting. So for literally $2. Actually, let me unplug the, 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 the cable for it real quick. It's not connected in it. So for a lovely, I think it's like three or four dollars, whatever I pay for this, it would know it was cheap, it was not worth two terabytes, you get malware in a USB drive. Anyway, I appreciate a like if you enjoyed. Have a good day. Adios.